although dozens of hostages have been released, many more remain in Gaza. Israel is demanding the return of all of those who have been taken. But a Hamas leader who spoke with Holly Williams says that may not be possible. Holly is in Tel Aviv. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Nate. 97 hostages have now been released since the temporary ceasefire began on Friday. But I've been speaking with a senior Hamas leader who claims some of the hostages are dead. We are ready to give all evidences. Ghazi Hamad told us Hamas is willing to provide evidence that three hostages, four-year-old Ariel Bibas, his 10-month-old brother Kafir and their mother Shiri, were all killed in the Gaza Strip by an Israeli airstrike. Israel says it's assessing whether that claim is true. They pay the price because of the occupation. But, but that was a 10-month-old baby and a four-year-old boy. They have to impose pressure on the, in the, their government to tell them that you push us to the hell. But Dr. Hamad, a 10-month-old baby and a four-year-old boy can't put pressure on the Israeli government. Why did they have to pay for the Israeli occupation? The Israelis they have a bigger problem that they occupy the Palestinian people. They have to exert pressure in Israel, their government, in order to tell them that you are going in the wrong way. Last night, Hamas handed over another 16 hostages, including an American, Liat Benin Atzili, a mother of three whose husband remains in captivity. Israel held up its end of the bargain by releasing 30 Palestinian prisoners, bringing the total to over 200. Hamad told us Hamas wants a permanent ceasefire to end the suffering of Palestinians in Gaza, where Hamas officials say over 15,000 have been killed by Israeli airstrikes and fighting. So what would it take for Hamas to hand over all the remaining hostages? We can uh, have a comprehensive uh, deal uh, that we can release all the prisoners, the Palestinian detention. At the same time, we can release all the hostages. There were thought to be around 6,000 Palestinians in Israel's prisons. And by Israel's count, around 150 hostages are still being held in the Gaza Strip. How many hostages do you have left in your hands that are still alive? I don't know. You don't know? The number is not so important. But what, what do you mean the number isn't important? People in Israel want to know whether their loved ones are still alive or not. No, we're only 70 people now. And we are continuing to release the civilians. We're expecting more hostages to come out tonight, but we do not know if this ceasefire will extend beyond 7 a.m. local time tomorrow. Gail. Holly, it's unbelievable that exchange you had with him. Yesterday, you reported about the little children, the 10 month old and the four and the four year old with the red hair. And I was so hoping, hoping against hope that maybe they were still alive. It makes it clear listening to him. And he doesn't seem to have any regard for the human life. He uses hostages like they're not even, they're, like they're not even human beings. Were you struck by that or that's just the way it is at the, in wartime? Look, it was quite a combative interview, Gail, but I want to uh, make it clear that we've had no official confirmation that those members of the Bibas family uh, have in fact died. All right, all right. We will still hold out hope then. Holly Williams reporting from Tel Aviv. Thank you very much.